Hi, I'm Steve Leonard, patron of Wildlife Vets International. Fancy visiting an island paradise with me? It's a paradise with problems though. Hi, my name's Andrew Greenwood. I'm one of the veterinary directors of Wildlife Vets International and I'm here in the Indian Ocean to help with a large number of projects based on restoration of endangered species. A lot of the animals that live here are unique. They don't live anywhere else in the world like this Aldabra tortoise here and some of them are in very serious trouble and are limited to very small numbers. I've been coming here for the last 20 years and my role in the projects is to look after the aspects of wildlife disease which can be devastating and finally finish off a very rare species. So now we're going to introduce you to some of the projects and some of the people that run them. My name is David Rowett. I've been living in Seychelles for the last 30 years and actively involved in marine conservation for the last 20. We're poised right now at the beginning of a very exciting project for us, the start of the first turtle and terrapin rehabilitation and rescue centre in Seychelles. What we would really love to have on this project is some wildlife veterinary expertise on this island so that this project can produce the results that it deserves to be able to. In 1994, four Seychelles magpie robins were translocated here from Frigat Island. There are now 47 currently on the island. The island is also home to nesting critically endangered hawksbill turtles. We have the Seychelles warbler, which is also an endemic species. Uh, giant tortoises also live here and the island is home to up to 300,000 breeding pairs of seabirds. Every magpie robin here is very precious, but now we have a problem. We have an eye disease that is proved to be fatal. Our young magpie robins are not surviving to be adults. So it would be wonderful to have some wildlife veterinary expertise to call on. Over the last 15 years we've achieved conservation miracles. We have saved various bird species which have been critically endangered including the Seychelles magpie robin, the Seychelles warbler and the Seychelles paradise flycatcher. We don't have any kind of wildlife veterinary service here in Seychelles or assistance and we really need that kind of expertise. So I have in my hand here Telfair Skink. It's one of the projects that we've been very involved in for a number of years. And uh, this skink got restricted to Round Island, um, just one location, it's at high risk of going extinct. So to improve its status and improve the long-term security of this endemic species of Mauritius, we've been reintroducing it back to islands. From the outset of the reptile program, Andrew Greenwood has been um, heavily involved with our work, supplying the veterinary expertise that is crucial for us restoring endemic reptile populations and allowing us to monitor these systems and detect emerging threats. To be able to establish new populations of our endangered birds, we are going to need the expertise of Wildlife Vets International. We've discovered that pink pigeon populations are limited by a disease that kills the young in the nest. We found that the parakeets carry a viral disease that causes a lot of their feathers to fall out. For the last 20 years we've been very successful that Andrew Greenwood has been on Mauritius, not just advising us on the individual diseases which or the individual ailments that each little bird or each little reptile got, but more widely, more, much more widely than that, on the uh, management, on the population management of these animals. Although we've had tremendous success in saving a lot of species on Mauritius, the reality is that we will need to be managing these species for a very long time, if not forever. Wow. Isn't it amazing the conservation work being done by these projects? But it's tragic that there's no veterinary expertise to support them on the islands. Now this is where Wildlife Vets International can really help, by delivering specialist advice and training. Can you help fund that and be a part of saving these irreplaceable and unique species for all our sakes?